everybody, I'm Natalia Bonner. Welcome back. All right, I'm back with more hexagon designs. So you know that I've created a brand new class called Let's Stitch a Figurative Quilt. This class is awesome. It features a lot of awesome shapes, including borders, blocks, hexagons, angled stripes, all sorts of fun stuff. So I'm crazy. After I quilted the original sample, got the class all ready, I decided I wanna quilt a second sample for myself, for me to keep and to create lots of bonus designs for you guys. So as I started out quilting my hexagons, I quilted a star and then my mind went crazy. I hope this happens to you and I hope that from the videos that I share here and the classes that I teach, you can start to build your own creativity. You know, start with foundations like I'm going to show you and just start to build on those. Add more lines, add more stitching. I love heavy quilting, it's not what you have to love, but I just love to start out with a great foundation and start adding. So today's video, I'm going to be quilting several different star designs based on the same foundation. So we'll start them all the same and then just add a whole bunch of different fills these are great designs that you could use. Here I'm showing you on a hexagon, so obviously you can use all these designs on hexagons, but they're also really adaptable for circles. Okay, so when are you gonna quilt on a circle? A lot of times applique, different places like that. Let's say a Dresden in the center of that, on a flower in the center of that. There are actually a lot of places where you quilt on circles, but also in a square block, these designs can be quilted out. You can mark out a circle or a hexagon and quilt these designs in there. So definitely a lot of places you can use this type of design. So I am going to be using my machine quilting rulers to quilt out these designs. You can pick up the rulers plus all the other products that I mentioned here today over on our website, peaceandquilt.com. Before you do start any ruler work though, make sure you know and understand the basics of machine quilting with rulers. You cannot successfully machine quilt with rulers unless you have the proper tools, including a ruler foot, machine quilting rulers, and you need to make sure you have an extended base plate. I recommend my book, Visual Guide to Creative Straight Line Quilting, as a great tool to get you started. Okay, so a few more of the nitty gritty details before we actually get stitching. I'm using one layer of the Quilter's Dream wool batting to stitch on today. I wanted a little bit of extra loft in this quilt, so I chose the wool batting. I love the extra loft that it creates. The other detail you're going to notice is the thread that I'm using. I'm using so fine thread here on the top. I'm using bottom line thread in my bobbin. Now you're going to notice that I'm using gray thread on this whole entire quilt top. Why did I choose to do that? I wanted a little bit of extra or even the appearance of a little bit of extra texture and loft. So by using a slightly off color of the red, now the majority of this quilt is a dark gray, so I'm using a slightly lighter shade of the red to quilt everything. It'll actually give my quilt a little bit of the illusion that there's even more loft or texture. As you're quilting out your designs, you might see the imperfections a little bit more. Once you take your quilt off the machine and it relaxes a little bit, the texture and dimension when using an off color thread is so awesome. As I'm quilting today, you are also going to notice our new Peace and Quilt Pop Socket Ruler Grips. You can pick these up over on our website, peaceandquilt.com. They're an awesome little tool to stick on the back of your ruler. You can use it like a handle to hold on to as you're machine quilting or pop it down flat and just use it in the middle when you're not wanting something to grip onto. So like I said, you can pick up all these notions over on our website, peaceandquilt.com. Let's get stitching. Hexagon number one. We're going to start out all of these hexagon designs the same by stitching in the ditch all the way around the outside of the block. Then from there, we're going to stitch two triangles. So starting at any point, I'll stitch across the block to the next point. From there, I'll stitch again to the next point and then back to where I started. When I get back to where I started, then I'll stitch along my ditch to the next point where I'll repeat that process one more time, stitching out the foundation of this star design. This time though, when I get back almost to the point where I started, I'm going to stop. 
and in the center of this star I'm going to stitch some fun melons. So using that medium sized curve on the mini 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler I'm going to stitch across that new hexagon that I've created in the center of my star. I'll stitch along my previous stitch line point to point to complete that star design kind of shape in the center of my star. Kind of like a fun little flower. Once I've stitched point to point on each of those lines, then I'll travel back along my previous stitch line and complete that star by stitching right back out to where I began stitching. Block number two. Just like block number one, we'll start out by stitching in the ditch all the way around the outside of the block. Then we'll stitch that first triangle point to point through the center of the block. Always remember when machine quilting with rulers like we're doing here, make sure you're using a machine quilting ruler and a ruler foot. When I get back to that point where I began stitching, then I'm going to free motion quilt point to point along the outside of those triangles, some fun curved lines. Then when I get to the inside, when I stitch to one of those inside points, then I'm going to stitch some of those curved point to point lines through that center hexagon. Then work my way back to the outside and complete that star by stitching right back to where I began. Hexagon number three. So again, I'll start out by stitching in the ditch all the way around the outside of this block and then travel to the inside where I'll stitch out two of those point to point triangles. Remember to always hold your machine quilting ruler a quarter of an inch away from where you want your thread to intersect. Now that I've got that foundation stitched out, we're going to fill in those outside triangles that we've created with some fun little tiny matchstick quilted lines. When I stitch out these matchstick lines, I like to hold my machine quilting ruler more as a guide. I'm kind of just using it to help me keep my lines nice and straight. Notice as I stitch out these lines that I will make them so they look like they're kind of radiating out from the star. When quilting a block like this, it really helps make the star pop. This outside section kind of becomes like a background. Hexagon number four. Like the other blocks, I'll start out by stitching in the ditch all the way around the outside of the block. Then from there, I'm going to stitch point to point lines, stitching out the foundation of the star, stitching a triangle, and then traveling and stitching out that second triangle, finishing off the foundation. Now this time, instead of adding a lot of Fill to that outside triangle sections, we're going to add just some simple point to point arrows. So as I stitch out this design, I'll use my mini 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler and angle it just slightly. So I'll start stitching in the corner, hold my ruler on a slight angle so I stitch right into the center of that triangle, stop, adjust my ruler, and then stitch back to the outside. Once I've completed that all the way around, now I'm going to fill in the center of that star with some pebbles. So I'll travel along my previous stitch line to get to the center where I'll stitch some fun pebbles. When I stitch my pebbles, I like to alternate the size and really make them feel 
fun and really random. Some big pebbles and some small pebbles. And one more of these star designs on the hexagons. So again, I'll start out by stitching in the ditch all the way around the outside of the block. And then I'll stitch two of those triangles to create a star through the center of my block. Once I have that star all stitched out, now I'm going to fill in each of those small triangles with some fun matchstick quilted lines. So I'll start out on that corner where I began stitching. Then from there, I'm going to travel along my previous stitch line to the outside point on the next triangle where I'll again use those tiny straight lines, those little tiny matchstick lines using my machine quilting ruler just as a guide to help me keep my lines nice and straight. I'll work my way around the star, filling in each of those triangle points. Once I get back to where I've started, then I can cut my threads and finish off this design. I hope you all found a bit of inspiration from this fun video. We'd love to have you join our online class, Let's Stitch a Figurative Quilt, where we'll share many ways how to quilt even more hexagon designs. Have a great day, everybody.